E-Turbo, 15th of February 2023, News, No More Asians and Russians, Ireland Stops the Golden Visa Initiative. The Golden Visa program allowed non-EU citizens to live in Ireland in exchange for investing in the country's economy. The Immigrant Investor Program IIP, also known as the Golden Visa Scheme, which gave non-EU citizens Irish residency in exchange for investments in Ireland's economy, has been terminated, according to the Government of the Republic of Ireland. Countries all over the globe use so-called golden visas to entice foreign investment. Some believe the practice presents security, money laundering, and tax evasion dangers. Dublin ended its program a year after the UK did the same thing, citing worries about national security and the program's rising popularity among Russian citizens. UP applications will no longer be accepted by the Republic of Ireland as of today, according to a formal statement from the Department of Justice in Ireland. In announcing the program's termination, Ireland's Justice Minister Simon Harris said, It is essential that we keep all programs under review, including any implications for more comprehensive public policy, such as the continuing appropriateness and suitability of this program for cultural, social, and economic use. The Immigrant Investment Program, which was established in 2012, gave residence to investors from nations outside of the European Union EU, who invested a minimum of €1 million Euros in Ireland for at least three years and had personal wealth of at least €2 million Euros, $2.1 million. UP has authorized non-EU investment totaling about €1.25 billion Euros since its inception 11 years ago, according to statistics provided by the Irish government. Russian and Chinese wealthy applicants ruled Ireland's UP. As a result of Russia's recent isolation from the rest of the world due to its aggression in Ukraine, Chinese applicants made up about 1,458 of the 1,547 applications accepted through June of last year. Irish media says that because of this fact, Justice Department officials suggested that all new applications be halted. UP applications that were filed before February 15 will still be taken into consideration, according to Minister Harris. Approximately 1,500 applicants are presently expecting a response. Additionally, projects that have already received program approval won't be impacted.